three, two, one. Dolls. It is Jasmine Nicole and I am back with another video and in today's video Today video is It's a beat today's video is a beat. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a Everyday makeup tutorial. This is my go-to look. I have like little fox freckles. I don't know if y'all can tell Yeah, see I have little fox freckles and this is just my everyday go-to look and it's super cute super easy very beginner friendly and yeah i hope you guys like this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and if you guys do decide to recreate this look make sure y'all tag me in it on all my social media platforms whatever social media platform you have me on make sure y'all tag me in it and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, before we get into this beat, I just want to let you guys know that every product as well as the product color I use is in the description box below. So if you want to check that out, you can do so. As you can see, I use dual lash glue to glue down my hairs. I find this trick very effective. Your eyebrow hairs don't move and it also make your it also makes drawing your eyebrows 10 times easier and they come out super bomb. When drawing your eyebrows, you don't want to create your own shape. You want to follow the shape of your eyebrow and then fill them in and when you get to the front of your eyebrow you want to just draw lightly draw little hairs to give it that ombre gradient look now to clean up your eyebrows we're going to conceal them and when it comes to concealer i like to use two shades lighter than my actual skin tone i feel like that gives the best outcome as far as like shading i feel like if you go a little bit way too light it would make it look very halo-ish if that makes sense Also, when you do this part, you really want to take your time with it because any wrong move and you get that concealer on your eyebrow, you're going to have to wait until the concealer dry in order to go over it or else you'll just be smudging concealer into your eyebrow and that's not what we want. For me, I like to blend out my concealer with a smaller brush. I feel like it's more precise and it just cleans up very well and it blends in very good. And now I am going to take the foundation that I use, so my actual foundation, and I'm going to outline the top part of my brow. Okay, so here's a tip. I prefer to use the foundation that I'm going to use to outline my top, my top part of my brow because it just gives it a more natural look. I feel like when you use concealer to outline your top part of your brow, it leaves that halo look that I was telling you guys about. And uh, it's 2023 and the halo eyebrows kind of not it anymore. After you outline the top part of your brow, take the same brush and just kind of pull that product upward. That way when you blend, it'll blend super easy and again, it'll leave a more natural look. Okay, 
last but not least i know you guys heard this over a thousand times but eyebrows are sisters never twins On to the next part, we're going to conceal our lids with concealer. Now the concealer, it really don't matter what color you use as long as it's not dark. And you want to make sure you blend this in very, very good because this is the base to our eyeshadow. And in order to have a clean eyeshadow, you need to have, you need to blend that eyeshadow out. That eyeshadow. You need to blend that concealer out and then set it anything that is wet needs to be set i like that make sure you set make sure you set your concealer on the base of your eye and then now i'm gonna go in with this brown so with this being my everyday eyeshadow look well not even my everyday eyeshadow look for this to be my everyday beat i like to use brown shades on my eyeshadow sometimes i would use one shadow Sometimes I would use two and I won't even cut the crease. I would just blend it in together like you're from the C. So yeah, we're just gonna blend this eyeshadow in very, very good. And you guys, again, make sure you take your time with this part. If you want your eyeshadow to be very pigmented and blended out well to have that pretty, pretty pigmented blended look, just take your time and no need to rush because Practice makes perfect when it comes to makeup. So yeah, if you don't understand eyeshadow, just take your time, play with it, learn your brushes, learn what colors mix together. And it don't have to be brown. Sometimes girls don't like the eyeshadow look. So just go for a really light nude color. Whatever just suits you best or whatever is close to your skin tone, you can use that. And another thing, about eyeshadow you don't have to have an eyeshadow palette to use eyeshadow eyeshadow can be contour eyeshadow can be blush eyeshadow can be basically anything that you want it to be it doesn't have to come out of an eyeshadow palette for example sometimes I would use my bronzer palette because they have like very pigmented browns in there as my eyeshadow as my eyeshadow color so yeah but now I'm gonna go in and create my wing. And as far as the wing liner, I like to use e.l.f. in the color Jet Black. I feel like it's very easy. I've been using it ever since. I don't think I've ever used any other eyeliner. But yeah, um, take your time with your eyeliner as well. And eyeliner is not easy to do at all, so yeah. And now here I am just prepping my skin. How to conceal again but this time I'm concealing my eye my eyeliner and that's only to make sure that my wing is as sharp as possible Here I am blending out that concealer that I put under my wing liner. Y'all, when it comes to makeup, blending is so important. So you're going to hear me say blend, 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 blend so much throughout this video. As far as foundation, I have been using my Maybelline 24 Hour Fit Me Pro. And uh, this foundation, I, have, I forgot about it and I was kind of asleep on it, but... This foundation is like 10 out of 10 fire lit as fuck. So, drug, for my drugstore girlies, this is what you might want. But honestly, I don't even think they still sell this product anymore. I think they changed it to a 36 hour foundation. I'm not sure. I know they replaced it with something else. I'm going to have to check that out. But... This 24 hour foundation was literally one of one, not lying. But as far as my foundation, as you can see, I put foundation on my face and then I took a brush and I 
spread the foundation around just so when I get my brush and I pat my foundation in, it will just evenly disperse around. And when you're doing your foundation, you don't wanna just drag it. You wanna pat it into your skin. When it comes to concealers, you want it to be two shades lighter than your skin tone at least. So two to three shades lighter. And then we're just gonna highlight our T-zones with our concealer. And then we're gonna take a brush and we're just gonna evenly just blend it in. Take your time on this part I feel like blending your makeup is the most crucial part it's the only way you can get that soft filter focus look onto your face it has to be very much well blended and I didn't do this on camera but I also wash my face and I moisturize it with pond moisturizer before I start doing my makeup. I just feel like it's just a good base to your makeup before you put primer and all this other makeup into your skin. And so here I am, I'm just going back over with a bigger brush and I'm just concealing as much as I can. And now I'm gonna set this concealer. So remember anything that is wet has to be set or else you're gonna look extremely oily. Just going through and we're just gonna set this concealer. To my women of color, dark skinned girls, yes, you can use translucent. I like to use translucent honey. Yeah, translucent honey. It can be by Laura Mercier. Um, right now I'm currently using Rihanna translucent powder and her shade honey, but I go back over with Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and the color translucent and it just gives a brighter under eye look. And now here I am going in with this Rihanna contour stick on days where I don't want heavy contour. I use this color, but if I want to do a heavy contour contour I use um I would use Fenty Beauty in the shade Ebony okay so now we are going in and I have this sponge I got it from Miss A and it's like a contour sponge um, I give it um a 6 out of 10. It does what it needs to do, but it could be better. And I just take the translucent color in the shade Honey, and I just outline my contour. And now I'm just going over my contour, and I'm just putting bronzer in just to add color into my face. Another Rihanna product, of course. I am using her face press powder in the shade 460. And I use this just to go over everything that I did not touch with the bronzer. So this is actually my shade color. And I just use it just to bring everything together. I also like this press powder because... Towards the end, when I just have my bronzer and my blush just sitting all together, I like to just take the pressed powder and kind of just lightly go over it just to bring everything together in a harsh, it don't have any harsh lines if that makes sense. Like, I just use it to just blend everything out together. But I very, very, very lightly when I touch my bronzer and my blush so that the color don't take away from those products. 
you just see me add brown eyeshadow to my under eye and i just like to do this because it just brings a warmth to the whole eye and then i'm gonna go ahead and put mascara on my lashes and my bottom lashes as well just to pull out the lashes and when i put my top lashes on it just makes everything just look very clean and now i am about to go in with my bronzer and i'm just gonna contour my nose to give it that very snatched look Okay, so now we're gonna set the face and then to my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the video. This is very optional, but lately I've been putting fox freckles on my face and I does I do this with a I do this with my liquid liner, my elf liquid liner that I was telling you guys about, and I just put little fox freckles over my face. I barely, barely, barely tap my face with them with it just to give it a very light look. Now some days I want my freckles to look a little bit darker and a little bigger, so I'll just hold it down a little bit just uh so for light freckles you will do a light tap and for a bigger freckles you will be you'll do a little heavier tap but don't tap too hard because you don't want a big blob of eyeliner liquid liner on your face and then now i'm gonna go in and i'm going to line my lips with my eyebrow pencil i got this eyebrow pencil from the beauty supply store it's a dollar and literally i do my eyebrows with this and use it for lip liner and it's in the shade dark brown. And now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe lipstick. This is a new color. I think this is in the shade Boy Toy. I'm not too sure, but it's gonna be in the description box, of course. And then I'm gonna go over this Boy Toy with the liner again, just so my liner can just pop out and then my lashes should be dry. Okay, so usually I will add clear gloss, but I couldn't find my clear gloss, so I just put this NYX Milky Gloss on my lips just to still keep it brown. This is a go-to look too. I don't know, I just like a new lip. New lips are my thing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back to my lashes. I'm just gonna take mascara just to blend my actual lash into my false lashes. And then I'm just gonna darken my bottom lashes again. Okay, so now I'm gonna add highlight into my face. This is from Fenty Beauty, of course. Um, I'm not too sure what's the name of this palette. First, it's going to be in the description box below, though. But I really like the center of my nose to be very, very, very bright. And I feel like highlight is very optional because this look will still eat without highlight. And then now this is my Beauty Balm or Beauty Veil. And it's just silver glitter. Okay, you guys, so this is the end of my video. I hope you guys like this look. Um, for my nose ring girls, don't forget to clean your nose ring. And yeah, I just really hope you guys like this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.